Hi, I'm Wheeler Winston Dixon, James Ryan Professor of Film Studies at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, and this is Frame by Frame. And today I want to talk about pan and scan, which is one of the most notorious technologies ever developed in cinema history. Basically, films are made in, in three general aspect ratios. There's what's called flat, which is roughly a rectangle. There's widescreen, which is a bit wider. And there's cinemascope, which is extremely wide indeed, much longer than it is high. So it's something like a box. It's also called letterbox or widescreen. Okay? So flat, widescreen, and cinemascope formats. So when these are presented on television, in order not to have a black bar at the top and the bottom, what a lot of people still do is they blow the image up so you're only cropping a portion of it and you're only seeing a section of the image to give the illusion of a full screen, but what you're doing is you're chopping off the right or the left of the image. A perfect example of this is Lawrence of Arabia in the desert scenes where you have uh, uh, there's Peter O'Toole and Omar Sharif, but basically between them is this ocean of desert and if you have to close up on on Peter O'Toole, for example, you're leaving out the desert, you're leaving out Omar Sharif, you're leaving out something. Another notorious example, which was used by Turner Classic Movies in a promo they did on Pan and Scan, which I've always loved, is Leonardo da Vinci's painting, The Last Supper. This is a perfect cinemascope composition, because here are all the disciples grouped around the table with Christ in the center. Can you imagine panning and scanning this? I mean, basically, who are you going to crop out? Christ, the disciples, whatever? So basically, pan and scan basically takes the image and redirects it and cuts it. And basically, what happens is that in many pan and scan films, the camera actually creates new cuts within the film to cut back and forth to the sections of the frame that you're missing. So if you have a dialogue scene with one person on one side and one person on the other, the camera will just recut back and forth, creating a whole new structure to the film. Martin Scorsese is called pan and scan redirecting the movie, and he's very correct in this. So if you're given a choice between letterbox or full frame, go with the letterbox. Because even though it has bars at the top and the bottom, you're seeing the entire film, which you would not be seeing in the full frame version. I'm Wheeler Winston Dixon, and this is Frame by Frame.